Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Exogate Initiative, Ben the Human Plays Edition. I forgot to say my name. Anyway, uh, <laughs> the Omega Bravo is going into the gate, or Firefox Go just went into the gate. They both went in relatively recently. X-Ray Alpha should be coming back shortly. And then we should have all of our soldiers ready to roll. For, uh... For the this incoming invasion, I was looking at some of the notes from the devs for Exogate Initiative. Apparently, they're working on new base defenses, including like a mounted turret, which I'd be like, that would be sick. I wouldn't have to have like six soldiers just kind of like hanging out up here. I could have turrets do all the work for me. Good job, X-ray Alpha, coming back unscathed, relatively. Oh, right. I think I had to delete this door because it was freaking out on me. Put it back. Did we... Bi we haven't researched the logic box yet? Still working on that? Did Ben Wright give up on his... His mission? I think so. I never figured out if I could redo... Cell element. Can I sell this part of the room? I think so. Let's find out. I wanted to reconfigure these rooms. Ah, very cool! So I can move these suits into this room. It'll be our suit room. And then we'll move this guy over here because I don't need the ops room to be so close. Cause this thing, nobody even interacts with the thing. All right, incoming invasion, get ready. Let's lay down our new armory. It's it's like I like that you can have two rooms in the same room. And then we'll we'll go ahead and start moving these uh exosuits over. Maybe not block the door. The bugs are still coming. Oh, they got in! Hey! Somebody get this guy! <laughs> Never mind, they already made it in. What the hell are you guys doing? What do you mean, on lookout? Did we kill all of them? Or we did. You guys made Ivy Lee kill two of them on her own. You monkeys? What the heck? The AI... The AI could do a better job sometimes, I think. Oh, the when you move the stand, it actually dis uh, equips the the suit, so the people uh, or not the people, the, the the it's just dropping the suit on the ground, and then the robots come in and they just kind of like re reattach the suit. <laughs> it's like, what are you trying to do? The suits are on the ground. Don't do that. Oh, whoops. All right, the big switchover is happening. And then we'll we'll sell all of the stuff in this room once they've uh they've come back. There we go. I'm kind of thinking we do it like this, two rows facing each other. And then you so you have the light exosuits on this side, we'll have heavy exosuits on the other side. Be pretty cool. Oh, uh, we'll have to do it for, like this for now. And then resell all of this room. Oops. Sell. There we go. No longer the armory over there. And then we'll make it into the ops room. All right. Cool. Let's continue our research on the craw, cow, the caw craw, caw craw. Send you guys, you don't need suits for this one. And then, oh, uh, I guess we could go here with Saturn V. No suits necessary. We're running out of planets to explore. These are higher level. This one's only a seven though. And no suits necessary for that one either. Yeah, that this one seems like a prime, a prime one for uh, extra alpha once Ivy Lee has recovered from having to fight so many 
Scarb at once, because her other soldier pals are lazy. What happened here? Broken. Can somebody fix this? I'm not sure. Let's make another light exosuit. Good job, team. More maglum. We're gonna have to switch back to exonium relatively soon. Do we need more robots? How come nobody's coming to fix this thing? Or maybe it's so broken that it... It can't be fixed. We do have six builders. And we can't get any more unless we upgrade the builder capacity. We have trained in the logic box, so we, we can get the mind pod now. Let's build a logic box here. It's like the logic box is a single-sided interact so maybe we'll throw like two logic boxes over there and then we'll throw some mind pods over there i don't know yeah the robots don't seem to care maybe we do maybe we do need more robot capacity they are kind of there is a lot of stuff for them to maintain now so maybe i think it might be a good idea to to send robot or uh, to get more robots we could make another bioweapon, so we might as well start writing. And a food source. So we make a weapon of mass destruction, and then we feed the people whose houses have been devastated by the bioweapon. When it says bioweapon, do you think it's more of like a an airborne pathogen type thing, like it would be today? Or is it literally like a, a Godzilla monster? Could be either. One of them is more interesting. I'll let you decide which. Honestly, we might as well sell this thing. Thank you guys for coming back with more Kakra. I was going to say, we might as well sell that thing because we have so many and they're not being utilized anyway. Saturn V, Exo, come in. We're an ex we have an extremely annoying problem here. There's this turtle creature that's following us. It's squirting water at us with its peculiar sphincter thing. Is it dangerous? Describe it. It's a hard-shelled reptile with a strange tube arrangement poking out from under its carapace. That's what it's using to squirt us. Also, it looks like it's smiling, but that's just probably a trick of the light. Is it dangerous? Not even slightly. We don't think it's attacking. It looked like it's trying to get our attention. Use gun! Take it as a specimen. We have a specimen. I'm not sure that's going to be... Oh, never mind. It just hopped into the specimen pod. Huh. It's almost like that's what it wanted all along. Truly a bizarre creature. Truly, I'm surprised they didn't die out long ago with survival instincts like that. Oh, well. It'll be a good specimen to examine later. I await the results. Awaiting new instructions continue. Wild. We got a cool turtle that wants to be studied. What do we do with all of our studied specimens? Do we just throw them in the garbage? Do you think we dissect them? I don't know. Our, uh, our expansion of the lunchroom has, has gone well. Let's move you over. Move you over. I don't know why this thing is highlighted the way it is, but that's the reality we live in. They came back with a specimen of 111 science points. Awesome news. All right, let's move these things around. Oh, whoops. Looks like we have to move this mess table first. We'll go like this. Another injury? Building in progress. I definitely didn't unbuild you, so that's that's not my fault. We'll go like this. And then now we have a much higher capacity lunchroom here. Oop. Good good monthly report. That'll make the board happy. And then we'll keep an eye on the food situation, but if we really need to, we could throw another vending machine down here on the, the side. Things are going okay. 
We have not unlocked the mind pod yet. The mind pod takes a hundred power to run, so... Might be a good idea to think about unlocking that new generator soon. Takes 600, so... But we should be getting a lot of science from the, the turtle we brought back. Did we not? Isn't that the place we went to? I, I don't know. Maybe sometimes you can go back to a planet? Could have swore that was the one we sent X-ray Alpha to. Perhaps it was. Maybe there are more turtles to capture. <laughs> the Ninja Turtles are not going to be pleased. Alright, we should see, is our science, or I was going to say, is Lee Wu done sign, sciencing this uh, data pack here? It doesn't look like he is. Maybe we should get another scholar whose, like, only job is, is doing this. Because right now, Lee Wu, I would like to send him back into the portal to be able to get... The, the stuff to continue, get more data packs and whatnot. But maybe it's a good idea to just get a cheap scholar who just, like, hangs around the... the base and does research. They're the desk job scholar. Lee Wu is the... He's the field guy. And then the other person will do all the desk work. Would like to expand this room out one... Oh. One more here. That way, if we do want to put two operations things in there, um, they can go side by side rather than having to, like, jam them into the door or something. And then we can build out this room fully. Two days to go. Another exosuit to be made. I think once we have... What is this? Ten exosuits? Another invasion incoming? Once we have ten exosuits, light exosuits, we should be ready to just switch over to hard. But maybe we only need nine. Because, like, worst case scenario is you need nine... You would need six exosuits for the standing missions of... Of ore and... And science gathering. And then you'd want another set of exosuits for whatever team you're sending into the the breach. And then you'd probably want nine heavies as well, but that'll take a lot longer to make. So I'm thinking maybe 18 berths total. Let's expand out the operations room here. And we'll go ahead and move you. Hopefully this doesn't break our science mission. Well done, Saturn V. I'm just gonna move you. Doesn't seem to have harmed anything to do that. Alright, now let's un... Let's sell you and convert you over to suit, suit holding. Uh, we are ready to hire our, our desk scholar. Holy! Georgia Anderson, great knowledge, terrible logic. On the other hand, Samantha Johnson, equal in both. Honestly, I think I like the equivalence. Hire Samantha Johnson. Your job is desk researcher. Super power plant. And now begins the big conversion. Any new patents? Regeneration? Fantastic news. Write that up for me. Start writing. And we're close on medical treatment, but not quite. Alright, and now that we have Samantha Johnson in, in uh, tow, we can, uh, we can send... We can send our people back out. Assign data pack, Kakra. So that means, while that one is being researched, we can go back to the Bleak A and, uh, and meet with them. Start Angel Squad's mission. Off you go. Incoming invasion in five. That probably means we'll be a, a soldier short. 
but I think that's okay. Right? Because I think there is a soldier on Angel Squad. We finished the logic box? We sure did. Logic box. Oh, it's much bigger than I thought it was. Okay. Uh, let's just throw it like right in the middle of the room. People can walk around it. <laughs> oh, okay. It looks like we're out of... Uh, we're out of Exonium now. So we probably want to switch Omega Bravo back over to Exonium. So let's see. Where, where are they assigned? Is it right here? Oh, it is. Okay. Unassign reassign do you run out of minerals over time it doesn't look like you do like you can just mine the same planet forever i think injury chance is 20 percent. that's okay in no condition to go on a mission i am well aware everybody take your positions I'm hoping this new, the new positioning for our soldiers does good for the combat here. All right, the, the portal is open. Omega Bravo must wait while we're being assaulted. One, two, three, four, five, six. That we have, there's more scarbs than than soldiers today. Right, we killed two of them and two uh, and or we killed four of them and two of them got away that one is probably gonna break my generator maybe not quite good job team holy this guy's putting up a fight Katarina Wagner get a get to the hospital woof I need to get some more soldiers. Angel Squad's back. The Bleakay were attacked. No! At least six dead by my account, including the ones we met during first contact who got scared by the video call. It's lucky we've made progress with each other's languages. Otherwise, I don't think we'd have a clue about what's going on. Who are these guys again? <laughs> when did the deaths occur? Very recently. There was no sign of anything like this our last cultural visit, though actually it was reported that the aliens seemed more anxious than usual. Who are these guys again? The humanoid amphibians, peaceful people living in mud huts with advanced culture and regenerative healing capabilities. What happened? Poachers attacked them. What? They wear precious stones on their heads, in their foreheads and chins, and we thought they were decorative or ceremonial, but we've learned they are fitted when they are young. Their flesh then grows around the stones, incorporating them into their biology. It's the reason for their regenerative capabilities. Removing them as the poachers have done kills them outright. Who are these poachers? All we know is they arrived on, in a spaceship. The Bleakie seem un unable or unwilling to tell us anything about them. It doesn't look like there was much of a fight either. There are no poacher bodies. All we have is their imprint that their freighter left in the mud near the village. From the size of the ship, I'd estimate a crew of 15, assuming they're humanoid. Where do the stones come from? They're washed down from the mountains and find their way into the river that crosses the plain. They pan for them in the summer. The precious stones heal them? The way they explained it to us, light enters through their eyes and is refracted around their head cavity, which also contains the retina, and doubles as the resonance chamber to amplify their vocalizations. Somehow the interaction between the photons and their cold bloodstream leads to cellular regeneration. The light then leaves the cavity through the stones in their head, magnified into an aura, which yes, we've observed many times now, does improve your mood. We need to help them. Yes, I think we can assume the poachers are selling the precious stones, perhaps because of their role in healing, or maybe they want them for themselves. Either way, it seems like a recurring operation. This is despicable. What? For now, the Bleak A need time to heal. Their physical regeneration will help, but they also just need time. I think we should give them some space to bury their dead. They've already prepared a ritual to admit them into one of the long barrows. We can re return later. What if the per poachers come back? I'm not worried about that at the moment, XO. I got some intel from the aliens. The poachers come in fixed cycles going from village to village, so the next one won't be for a while yet. Document your findings and then return home. They didn't do it well. 
We'll get the report together the best we can, XO. We've been a little distracted since we found out about the deaths, but we can also add some notes about their folk song history that we've discovered, and how they celebrate two summers and two winter solstices, one for each sun. Okay. There's something else, yes? One of the Bleakay wants to come back with us. They've had enough of the attacks. I know it's not initiative policy, but I thought... Who are they? We've met them. Let's just say they have skills we could use, and like their peers, they are an extremely quick learner. I can't give you a name, though. We're still having trouble understanding their personal naming conventions. Recruit the frog person! See you soon. You've recruited a gator from an alien race. They are now part of the initiative. They'll live and work in the base and can go on missions. Alien races have unique traits which you can see in their gator details view. You can recruit more gators from this race once you've claimed the sector and assigned a gator recruitment console in the operations room. Dude, show me the frog. Where are they? Frog? Let's check. Oh! Neat! He's a level 10, holy crap! He's the smartest person in this damn, this damn organization! <laughs> Where'd he go? Oh, there he- oh, nope, that's Raheet, never mind. What's his name? I didn't even pay attention. See Sneeth? Sneeth? Oh my god. Well, I'll just call him Snee. Where's Snee? I'm looking for Snee here. We gotta find him. Snee? They need a bed. Oh, there they are. Hold up. Very cool. Dude, they're glow- they're giving off the aura! Whoa! Do you have a special ability? Affinities. Wellness Aura can't lose mental health or get mental health conditions and improves mental health of others nearby over time. Cellular, cellular regeneration heals own physical health over time. Hibernation sleeps for much longer but cures, cures all physical conditions and slightly reduces maximum physical health. Well, they seem like an awesome scientist. Not so good for a soldier, but they are a scientist, so great. Hmm... Who do we kick off a, one of these teams? We could kick Lynn off the team, but she's a level 9. Maybe we put together another research team, huh? We've got Philippe just kind of hanging out. So we could do Snee. We could do Snee, Philippe, and then just like rotate between Julia, Samantha, and Frank. And then maybe once we get a diplomat, whenever that happens, uh, maybe that'll be the next thing. They need a bed, though. Oh, you know what? I thought I had a bed. It's It was taken by Samantha, though. Which makes sense. I think the way I want to do this is I would like to do... The tricky thing about these beds is they have that little tail at the bottom. So you can't shove them up against the wall backwards. But I think we do it like this. So you, we'll get you a bed, Snee. S. Rinth. <laughs> I wonder if we should have him writing patents. Is it a him or a her, or neither? Could be a it could be a frog. They might they I don't know. <laughs> I think frogs are still male and female generally. I don't think they like cellular. <laughs> they don't like split like a cell. You can tell I'm not a biology major. Let's see here. I lost them. There they are. They're doing research. Does it say? I guess it's not super important. I'm just going to refer to it as a him. Alright, Snee has a, has a bed now. Fantastic news. We've only got 122 science, and we're, we're actually researching something right now, so don't, don't get too ahead of yourself, Ben. Oh, how do we do this? I guess we should be sending teams in. I got distracted from, from being able to recruit Snee. So we should send Saturn V in. Maybe we should create another recurring science team. Something to think about. Level 9, level 9... Oh, I actually, um, well, 
I like the diversified team when you explore a new place. But maybe it makes sense, since Ashley, or, uh, Ivy is injured, to take her off the squad for a second. Pull on Snee. They make $57. They're the smartest person in this building, and we pay them nothing. That's amazing. All right, we're gonna we're gonna explore the planet next to the Scarb homeworld, and we're gonna send X-ray Alpha because they got a nine, a ten, and a seven. There's a high injury chance here, but hopefully it works out. A little nervous. I don't want our alien to immediately be killed. That would be dis depressing. <laughs> Ashley Miller is in no condition to go on a mission. New th new theory. Do we have stuff for a new a new patent? Not quite. All right there we go. Good luck, Snee. The first mission. You guys come rocketing right out of the out of the portal. How many how many things do we have for the the armory now? Looks like we have six suits. We just got more Exonium. So maybe we should swap around what uh, Bravo is doing again. Omega Bravo. Somebody mentioned that that was uh, not Omega. It's um, a different <laughs> a different Greek letter. Uh, Omega is like the upside down horseshoe. So once again, not a scholar. <laughs> We're talking about... Uh, Can't, can't assign this team? Assign mining team. Planned. Excuse me. Oh. There. Ah. This, this room is done. I don't think there's anything more to do with the training room. So that's kind of cool. These guys could get two more. Or maybe we just do the nine like I talked about. So these are all going to be light suits. Making $90,000 just from our patents uh, alone every month. And we get nine heavy suits. What does a heavy suit take? Ten maglum, five exonium, and then we need to find cobium, which we haven't even found yet. But I assume we will eventually. No food available for gators. What the heck? Well, let's get uh, another... I talked about it. Bring in a... A thing. Maybe we should... Uh, I think maybe we should research the additional builders. Yeah, increased capacity. The broken leg, oh my god. Do you have to have surgery for the broken leg? Because I don't trust Julia. Oh, surgery succeeded. Thank god. Wow, 96. Good job, X-Ray Alpha. Did get injured in the process, but I, and I was worried about that. There we go. Now we're getting more food. Let's get, uh, oh, they have to research the additional builder. I was like, let's get more builders. Not yet. Hold, hold your horses. We do need to build another expedition mapper if we would like to get our hand, or start another science team, recurring science team, that is. So that'll be something that we have to build and we have to get more power to do that we could reconfigure the way the map is is set right now we're just kind of like branching in every single direction with no real rhyme or reason to what we're doing here like we could pull back on some of these for for a bit until we explore outward like this one 
Like, I've just explored out here for no real, real reason. Other than I wanted to. Yeah, we got ourselves back to a thousand power, just pulling back from, from certain sectors. But, how is Saturn V looking? Let's send a Saturn V mission to this planet here. And have we sent... Did we send... We fully explored the Kakra culture. Very cool. And we haven't finished the other data pack. Well, good for us. Did we... Claim a sector. Okay, so we just have to do that. Let's do that. Uh, I'm guessing we'll have to claim quite a few to get out here. Yes. Good news is we have almost 2,000 influence. Alright. 621, holy god! We've done it. We claimed the Kakra as our own. Our projections are looking extremely favorable. I think at this point it's fair to say we've made a considerable investment in you, in Mr. Cobb and the Exogate Initiative as a whole, an investment we would dearly like to protect. To that end, please see that your teams are suitably equipped for their missions committee out. Look at this! We were <laughs> we were already well ahead of them. We've already done this actually. Oh, that's funny. Um we will we will pause uh the episode there and we'll we'll uh, get this one knocked out. Uh, next episode for the time being though. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the episode if you did click the like button and helps me out a lot If you want to see more exogate initiative or the other videos I have going on on the channel Subscribe to the channel that also helps me out a lot, but until next time everybody I hope you have a good one, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye. Bye everybody